One of the most fundamental things to understand when working with building automation systems is how to wire and configure the hardware. The KMC Conquest BAC 9000 series VAV controller is one of the most versatile VAV controllers on the market with an integrated actuator, internal air pressure sensor, and other powerful features. They are ideal for new installations and upgrades of less efficient equipment, such as a VVT retrofit. Wiring a BAC 9000 series controller can be different than wiring other controllers from other manufacturers, so let's walk through the process. In this video, let's cover wiring to a network and the inputs. Let's begin with the wiring of the controller to a network. This BAC 9000 series controller connects to the network via Bacton over IP. This model includes two Ethernet ports with a built-in switch, allowing for easy daisy chaining on the network. So from the previous controller network, plug the Ethernet cable into one of the ports. Then, to daisy chain to the next controller, plug another cable into the second port. We also offer a backed over MSTP version, where the two Ethernet ports are replaced with an MSTP terminal block. When wiring to a backed over MSTP network, you will have three wires. Make sure to use 18 gauge twisted shielded cable for your network. Assuming this controller is in the middle of the network, start by connecting the negative A wires in parallel with all other negative A wires on the network. Likewise, connect the positive B wires in parallel with other positive B wires on the network. Connect the shields of the cables together in each device. Once joined, insert the appropriate terminals onto the controller. At one end of the network, it is important to connect the cable shield to a good earth ground to avoid network interference. If the controller is at either end of the backed MSTP network, turn on the EOL or end of line switch to the on position. Your controller is now connected to the MSTP network. Since this is a BAC 9001 series controller, all of the inputs are universal, meaning they can either be used for analog or binary signals. Looking at the inputs on the bottom of the unit, see the UI for universal input and GND for ground. When wiring the inputs, always make sure there is no power to the unit. The inputs consist of two wires, a signal wire and a common wire. Working with the first terminal block, insert the signal wire into the UI3 terminal and the common wire into the adjacent G and D terminal. The common wires for inputs in the same terminal block can be grounded together in the same terminal. Thus, the common wire for UI4 can go into the same ground terminal as UI3. Now that's how you wire the network and inputs for a KMC Conquest BAC 9000 series controller. To learn more about wiring similar products and exploring the other solutions from the building geniuses at KMC, please check us out on the web at kmccontrols.com.